To draw a 3D robot, start by adjusting the camera so that we can draw a two-dimensional outline of our figure. Click on Camera, Standard Views, and then select Right. Adjust the position of the camera with the pan tool and move the origin point to the bottom left hand of the screen. Now we are ready to draw our 3D robot. To draw a 2D outline of our figure, we are going to use the circle and the arc tool. Start by clicking on the circle tool and drawing the head of the robot. Then use the two-pointed arc tool to draw a basic outline for the body, arms and legs. Don't worry if your outline doesn't match the example perfectly. Just make something that looks similar. Start with the arc tool by clicking a point, moving to another point and then creating an arc by moving the mouse upward. When your arc looks the way you would like. Press the mouse button again to complete the arc. Move to another end point of your arc, click and draw another line. Now create the arc for the outer part of the body. Do this until you've created a shape that you are happy with. Every time, connect the end points and create an arc. When we finish drawing our outline, we should be left with a head and body, one arm and one leg. The next step is to give our model a 3D layered look. To do this, use the Orbit tool to rotate the shapes that we've just drawn slightly. This will allow us to use the push-pull and scale tools. Select the push pull tool and choose a body part. Here I will choose the head and pull out the head just slightly. Now select the scale tool, click on the face of the head, press the option key so that a red square appears in the middle of the box. Click on one of the corner boxes and move the mouse cursor inward to give the head a sloped shape. When you're ready, release the mouse button and release the option key. Use the push-pull tool again to move another section of the head out slightly and use the scale tool the same way. Click, use the scale tool by clicking on the face of the new piece that we've just created. Hold the option key so a red box appears in the selection area. Click on one of the corner boxes and move the mouse cursor inward to add a sloped shape. Do this a third time. Use the push-pull tool to create one final piece for the head. 
use the scale tool to select the new piece, press the option key, select the corner box and move the mouse cursor inward. If we use the orbit tool we can see we have half a sloped head. Do this for each of the other body parts. Now we have finished making the figure 3D, we can zoom out and rotate around our robot to see how it will look. So now we have a 3D head, torso and hips, arm and a leg. We must now make a copy of our shape so that we can add the other half of our robot. To do this, select the selection tool and drag a box around all of the robot. Every piece should be highlighted in blue. Right click on the robot and select Make Component. Call this component robot half. When you're ready, click create. We must now make a copy of this section of the robot. To do this, use the orbit tool to rotate the robot so we can see it from the front. Now select the move tool. Make sure that there is a blue box around your robot. Move the cursor over the robot. You will see that four red crosses appear. Press and hold the option key. You can see a small plus symbol has appeared at the side of our cursor. Keep the option key held down. Click on the robot and move the mouse to the left. This will create a copy of our robot. When you're ready, let go of the option key and release the mouse button. We now have an exact copy of the robot that we've created. The only problem is that we need to have it mirrored, so flipped, so that it is the opposite way around. To do this, right click on the new piece that we have just created. Select Flip Along and then select Components Red. This will flip the new part of the robot that we have just made. Now zoom in slightly. Use the Orbit tool to see the gap between the two sections. Click on the Move tool and move the new robot half along slightly so that it joins with the original. You should then be left with one solid piece. The next step is to break up the robot so that we can move around individual parts. This is because we will need to reposition the arms and legs and put them into the correct place so that we can actually make the robot look like a human body. To do this, click on the first half of the robot, 
you will see a blue box appear around this selection. Right click and select Explode. This will make each of the parts individual. Use the Orbit tool to rotate around the robot. Zoom out if you can't see the whole thing on the screen. Use the Selection tool to drag a box around the leg and make this a component. Right click, select, make component. Call it leg. Do the same for the arm. Right click, make component, call the component arm. We should now be able to move these pieces individually from the body. We must now position the arms and legs into the correct place. We will complete the first half of the robot, then we will repeat the steps on the opposite half of the robot. Click on the Orbit tool and move around to the front view of the robot. Click on the leg that we just created as a component. Now select the Move tool. Click on the leg and move the leg outwards so that it's ready to join up with the body. Use the Orbit tool to move around to the side view. Click on the Move tool again and move the leg into position with the robot's hip. If we rotate around the robot using the Orbit tool, we can see where we've joined the robot's leg to the hip. Move around to the back of the robot and do the same for the arm. Select the arm, click on the Move tool, click on the arm again and move the arm into position. Select the Orbit tool to see the arm from the side view. Use the Move tool again to move the arm into position with the body. If the shapes start to overlap, simply use the Orbit tool to move back around to the opposite view. Select the Move tool and move the arm out slightly. Repeat this process on the other half of the robot. Use the Orbit tool to rotate around to the other side of the robot. Click on the Selection tool. Click on the robot. Right click and select Explode. Now use the Selection tool to drag a box around the leg, right click and select make component. Call this leg 2. Use the selection tool to drag a box around the arm, right click, make component and call this arm 2. Now use the Orbit tool so that you can view the robot from the front. Use the Selection tool to select the leg. Click on the Move tool. Move the leg into place. The final step 
is to adjust the position of each of the arms and legs to make it look like the robot is walking. To do this, right click on the arms and legs and select Explode. Now double click on the lower arm to highlight the whole piece. Now select the Rotate tool. Click on the front of the arm in the centre. This will be the point around which we will rotate the arm. Click once, move the cursor outward and we can see a green line will appear. Click again and move the cursor upwards and we can see the arm will begin to rotate. Now select the Move tool and move the arm into position so it looks like the arm is swinging forward. Rotate around to the other side of the robot Now, double, use the selection tool and double click on the leg. Use the rotate tool to rotate this part of the leg. Click on the piece of the leg that you would like to rotate. Move the cursor outwards and click again. Now rotate the leg. Use the selection tool to select each part of the leg. Double click so that you have the full piece selected and move the parts as needed. When you have finished positioning the arms and legs of your robot, use the Orbit tool to rotate the model to make sure that you are happy with the way it looks. When you are happy, you are finished.